Further insight on this, we're now being joined by the Executive Vice Chairman of NASENI, Professor Mohamed Sani Haruno. Prof, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Well, the President is thank visibly... Thank you very much. All right, the President is visibly happy with you and what you're doing at NASENI. Uh, talk to us about these activities. Well, um, the, the President has in inspected facilities himself. Uh, he is happy that uh, what he has been directing to be done, uh, he has seen clearly that they have been done very well. You can see that uh, we can say that uh, our performance has exceeded his expectation. He was uh, visibly impressed. And we only exhibited few of the recent innovations and development uh, of Naseni. But then, they are cutting edge technology. They are modern equipment that are needed. Solar cells, our development of uh, unmanned aerial vehicle, some component of uh, aviation, particularly what we do towards first made in Nigeria helicopter, among other things that you have seen. Mm. This is really great. Let's talk about sustainability of these projects. How sustainable is, uh, is Naseni and its projects? The good thing about Naseni is that we first commence everything with uh, capacity development of our staff, especially the young graduates. You see, whatever we don't know how to do it, we dispatch our staff to willing, friendly countries that are expert on this to give them appropriate training. Uh, not just the usual workshop and conferences, but for them to specialize in specific areas. So everything you see are built by staff of Naseni. This expert that we train also train others to guarantee that uh, we are not only sustaining what we have learned, but we can improve on it and even provide better services. Uh, recently, Prof, you made a call for the overhauling of the ITF curriculum. Yes. How is that being received? Yes. Yes, uh, you see, the original concept of uh, industrial training fund is to provide critical mass of uh, well-trained staff readily available for the industries. But I think there is a sharp departure to that. Uh, ITF is safe now only outsource uh, experts from different places or lecturers from university to conduct training and interaction. The trainees of ITF are not ready, no any industry is willing to absorb product from there. Things have changed. We need people to specialize in particular areas of which even if they are not employed, they can establish by themselves and themselves be employers of labor and be able to survive and have gainful employment and uh, be able to operate their own businesses. That is not what ITF is giving to skill development now. And there is so much funds for ITF. Other organizations that can offer these services doesn't have the fund that is there available in ITF. All right. Uh, and we know that Naseni has uh, established some skill acquisition uh, training and youth empowerment programs. How is that being received? How are beneficiaries drawn and how beneficial really have those projects been for the communities? Um, what we are able to do and we are doing is little. What we do is to ensure that all the geopolitical areas we conduct training there the trainings we have commenced is to train those that are already in the trade, to give them the modern tools as their own start off, and then to enhance their capacity, giving them the modern methods and the modern equipment so that they can uh, appropriately expand their business and love doing it. Because other people are changing to other occupations 
due to inefficiency or lack of modern tools. Now, only 100 per state that we are training is not adequate. But then, with time, the good thing is that those that are trained are also training orders. So it's training the trainers we are doing. And we discover that in the selection process, uh, we have thousands of applications or willing uh, trainees. We screen, ensuring that uh, each local government has its own share. And each trainee that we train, we have to confirm and be sure that he's actually earning a living doing that. All he needs is enhancement to uh, enhance his performance and to have modern tools for precision and for volume. Uh, if you have modern equipment, if you are doing a product only two, three per day, you can do in hundreds per day. That means higher revenue and you will be able to expand and even employ others in different occupational uh, areas. All right, but then do you have uh, an assessment plan in place to check that these skills uh, that these individuals are getting, the supports they are getting are actually being used for the purpose for which it was uh, uh, administered to them? Okay, we have structure in each of our Naseni institutes across the nation where the training is conducted the, we, the Secretariat for monitoring the any state is uh, operated from there. And also we involve the paramount rulers uh, in the state to ensure that the people we are training are truly from their locality. They didn't just come ad hocly to set workshop after training, getting our equipment to disappear. We recommend. We are also able to create some um, technology monitoring devices, any equipment that we donate, we are able to provide communication uh, contact in it. We can remotely assess whether that uh, is in use or not. The monitoring team at our institute also go around, so we synchronize with what we are monitoring from Naseni headquarters. All right. There is also a platform where each trainee is giving update of what he is doing. It can be verified. So, Prof, it, it shows that indeed there is a the plan in place. Prof, if you can hear me, I'm sorry to interrupt, guidance. but it means that Naseni actually has plans in place to evaluate and assess uh, what uh, the beneficiaries of uh, these uh, trainings are actually doing. Finally, I'd like to get your thoughts on the issue of brain drain in Nigeria. Sometimes, and many times actually, people get these trainings and then shortly after they're out of the country. Uh, what is your thoughts on this? Yes, you are right. Even Naseni experienced this challenge. However, what we do from the beginning is uh, we have bond to agree with our staff that we are training. If we give you this training, you will at least serve the nation through Naseni by a certain amount of years, depending on what areas specialization. So that before you finish your bond, you will have finished training orders. What can stop brain drain is uh, a lot of things to do with uh, emolument and uh, remuneration. We are not able to pay our staff appropriately what their counterpart can get elsewhere. But I'm glad to say that uh, uh, the, through the approval of President Muhammad Buhari, All right. the Salaries and Wages Commissions are reviewing the packages for Naseni. We have trained people elsewhere and uh, the, mm. they are trainers across the globe due to the skills and ability of our staff. Right. They were trying to snatch them. We lost some and then we develop a better mechanism on how to retain them. All right, then it's a great way of to course. end the conversation. Executive Vice Chairman of NASENI, Professor Mohammed Sani Haruna, thank you for your time on TVC News at 10.